Okay, good morning once again, uh, my dear uh, Matayum uh, two students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now today we're going to continue our lesson on square root. Now last time, if you remember, that we had the square root of the non-perfect square number. Okay? Now, uh, this time we're going to learn about the square root of the decimal numbers. How we can get the, the square root of those decimal numbers. Now again, that uh, the method is just the same as what we follow with uh, the square root of non-perfect square. Okay? So like by pair. Uh, for this one, since that this is decimal number, like for example, if we start with the square root of uh, uh, 0 0.27, so you will uh, go to the right, nah? because you don't have any number to the left, it's only zero. Okay, so we have here number one, uh, then we have the square root of 0 0.27. So we have here 0 0.27, and again we divide that. Okay, so since that to the, to the left, we don't have any number, just only zero, we go to the right. Nah? We have 27 here. Okay, so the same thing that we're going to follow. So we put here the point na? for the decimal and we start with 27. Again, the square root, what is the uh, square root which is equal or lesser than the 27? That is 25. And the root for that is 5 times 5. Okay, so you have 5 and 5, we have 25. Right? So we subtract this, we have. 2. Now, and again, we add two zeros. Two zeros becomes 200. And we add this. How much that? 5 and 5. That would be how much? 10. Now, and again, the same method. We're going to think of any number here. Number here, the same. That when we multiply, it will not be more than 200 as our dividend. Now, so we say 100. 0, 0, 101, or 102. When you say 102 is how much? Times 2 is two more than 200. So we say 1. 1. It's 101. Okay. Then we have 200. We have 99. Now, so we have here the square root of uh, 0.27 is 0.51. Okay, my so we can still continue. If you like three digit here, a uh, three decimal number, still you just add two zeros here and continue dividing. Now, now we're going to check whether our answer is correct. We have the square root of a point 27. We have the answer. You see? Can you see mine? So you will see there the square root of a uh, 0.7 is 0.51, and we have there 96 and so on. Now, you don't understand my question. Now we go to the next number. Second number we have here. We delete this. Number two. Let's say we have a square root of. Um, 0 0.713 like this what is the square root of this 0 0.713 now now again the same method that it will applies now so you have here divide 713 okay so we have here the decimal and again we start with this 2 and 1. Remember that after, okay, from the point, or the, from the decimal point, going to the left or to the right, the same. 2. Now, 2, it will have 2, then 2, 2, or 2, 1, it's up to. Now, as long as, as long as, after the decimal or before the decimal, it must be 2 pair of number. Now, okay, we start, we start with 71. So what would be the perfect square that is lesser to 71? That is uh, 
uh, 9 is uh, 81, we go with 8, 64, okay? So 8 and 8, that is 64, okay? And we subtract this, we have uh, 6, 7, and, uh, okay, we have there, we have uh, 7, then we go with 3. Now, look at number 3, just only alone. We need to add one more zero that, 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 so that it will be two numbers. Now, so we bring down 30, we have there, okay, because as we said, two pair of numbers. They must be pair. Now, and again, we have your new divisor. We have 8 and 8 is 16. And we add another more number here, just the same, that when we multiply, it will not be more than 730. How much is it? If we say 165, 5, we have 5, uh, 2, 30, 32, carry 3, 8. So we go with 4, 164, 4, our mark is not good, 16, carry 1, 24, 25, carry 2, 4, 6, 5, 6. So we go with 4, 4, 4, and that is 6, 5, 6, right? It's correct. 16 carry 1, 24, 25 carry 2, 4, 6, okay? Then we subtract this. We have 10, we have 4, we have 2, 1, 12, we have uh, 7, we have 74, okay? So therefore, the square root of uh, 0.713 is 0.84. Okay, my. Now we check if we got the correct answer. Square root of 0.713. You see? Can you see that? The square root of 0.713 is 0.84. Okay? Up to two decimal. Na? Okay, my. You don't understand, my? Question. Now we go with a third number. Okay, so we have here our third number. We have the square root of 7.65. Okay, so what is the square root of 7.65? So again, the same uh, method that we're going to apply here. We have 7.65. We divide. So you see, from here we have only one. Now you cannot add zero for that. You can only add zero here on this side, on the right side. Now, but for the left side, no. So we have only one alone, and here two pairs. It's okay, we cannot, we do not need to add zero here. Okay? So we start with seven. So seven, we have uh, two and two. Okay? That is four. And we subtract that, three. Seven minus four is three. Then we bring down 65. And again, the decimal point is here, right? There's a decimal point. And we have 65, and we have your new divisor, we have 4, and what would be the number that we're going to um, uh, add here with 4, to get with 4, and multiply with here, and the product is not more than 365. So we start with 4, 5, and 5, we have 5, 2, 20, 22, so we have 365, we go 4, 4, and um, uh, we say 6 and 6. We have uh, 6, 36. Uh, we have 24. We have 27. And one more we say 48 and 8. We have 4. We have 64, 32. We have 38. So it's more than already. We go with 7. Na? So we have 6. So 7 is okay. We have 7 here. 7. And we have uh, 9, carry 4, we have 20, 32. Now, and we subtract here, we have 5, 15, that is 6. Uh, we have 5, 2, we have 3, 6. Okay? And we can add more. Two zeros, if we need two decimal point, we have here two zeros, two zeros. Our new divisor here is uh, 5. 54, okay, and we add one more number, what would be the number that we're going to multiply, that each product will not be more than 3,600. So we say 
5, 4 times, uh, we say 5. That would be, yes, 5 times 5. You have 5, carry 2, 20, 22, carry 2, 25, 27. Okay, one more. We say 5, 4, 6 times 6, 6, carry 3. We have uh, 24, 7, carry 2, 6, 30, 32. Okay, so we have already 5, 4, 6, 3, plus, uh, 7, 6. So you cannot have, have more with 7 because it will be more than 3, 6 already. Na? So we say with 6, 6 here, and we have 3, 2, 7, 6, and we subtract this one. We have 10, we have 4, we have 9, we have 2, 5, 3, 2, 4. Okay? So therefore, our square root of 7.65 is 2.76. Now, so we're going to check whether our answer is correct using our calculator here. Square root of 7.65 is 2.76. You see? So it's clear, right? So uh, though, uh, that's the method on how we can get uh, the square root of the decimal number. So question, do you have a question, mine? No question, right? So again, uh, that's all for today. So I hope that you understand uh, in getting the square root of decimal numbers. Okay, na? So that's all for today and we see you again next time. Bye-bye!